Okay, everybody, me, Greg Manorino, post-market wrap-up, Monday, April 15th, 2024. You know, thank you for making me smile. Honestly, I, I'm not in such a great mood right now. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second here. Um, but I'm, I'm reading these uh, these comments here in the in the chat, and you guys and girls are just fantastic. Now, look, um, we have so much stuff to cover today, a lot of really important things. Um, but before we get that, I want to get there. I want to talk to you about something. Be very careful about what you hear. Um, so I, I don't even know how to, how to put this. I warned people from the get-go, from day one, about Donald J. Trump media company stock. I'm not putting down the president, so relax. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, relax. I, there's so many freaking Karens out here. This is nothing to do with negativity about... Trump, okay. Uh, I'm talking about the media company, which for which he owns 57% of. Okay, I got that part. But from day one, I said to be careful with this stock. From day one, I'm, I'm, I put out at least three newsletters regarding this particular company and its valuation. I came out specifically saying it, it, it was outrageous. The, the, the valuation here, it made no sense. Uh, and, and people should be very careful with it. Now, just to be extra clear, again, I never said to buy the stock. I even came out and said that it's probably worth around $9. If you do some basic math, that's what it's worth, in my opinion. Okay. Now, this thing is in a tailspin of epic proportions. Epic, all right? And, I, I, you know, every day I get questions about it. And I, I really am done. I did not know, okay, thanks to one of you out here who enlightened me as to what's happening here. There's apparently one or more people who are blaming me, uh, insinuating that I said to buy the stock. I never said to buy the stock. What I did say, okay, is if you were a trader, a trader, someone that's in and out of a position, there was money to be made. And there was big money to be made, especially on the short end, okay? So just be careful. People are cruel. Uh, they have their own agenda, whatever it may be. You all know that. Okay. So just when you hear stuff like that, if you follow my newsletter, you know exactly what I'm telling you is true. This is all factual. It's You can back this up. All of you that followed this blog, here's a question. Have you heard me ever say to buy DJT, Donald J. Trump media company stock? Have you ever heard me say that? Probably not. If you if you say yes, you're a freaking liar. And uh, I don't know what to say about that. But anyway, look, uh, I am sorry that I have to sit here and bring this stuff up. But it's important. Just be careful what you hear. Be careful what people are putting out there. They have their own agenda. And, and that's that. Now, with that said, let's talk about this freaking freak show here. The big show that we just had. I want to talk more about that. The sequel, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate this. Um, anyway, um, we're going to get a sequel here. And I think the sequel is going to be relatively soon. We'll talk about why, uh, what's what's happening here with regard to that. Now, this market, this market roared out of the hole today. Okay, out of the hole. A little drag racing talk here. Um, this, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 400 points. We finished down about 230-something an over 600-point swing with the Dow. Now, why? Here's a clue for you. The MMRI has gone red zone, all right? The market doesn't like this every single time. Every single time. We see this. We see a market that gets very, very unhappy. So keep your eyes on this. I talked about risk in this market, whether or not you should sell, stick around, what you should do in a recent video, okay? And this is, uh, you know, just go watch the video, okay? Um, you, you get a better clue. It, you know, it depends on so many factors. If you have a very low risk tolerance, seeing something like this, you might want to get out, okay? That's, that's how I can say this. If you are a person that is risk averse, someone like me that <laughs> I have a pretty substantial risk tolerance here, I'm not looking to get out of here just yet. I'm not saying I'm not going to pull the trigger tomorrow. If I do, I will tell every single one of you, as I always do, what I'm doing. Okay. We're going to continue 
to bet against the debt, become our own central banks here. Realize what's happening, what's about to happen, the big show sequel that's coming up uh, and all that kind of stuff as well. And anyway, so um, yes, I know you guys and girls are paying attention to this. Again, it's free to everybody right on my website, traderschoice.net. Check this stuff out. Um, I, I'm happy to see that you are paying attention to this stuff. It's critical and it's amazing. You know, we go red, market turns around, 600 point swing, drop, all the gains gone. The, the sell off in the debt market, this is because the debt is selling off. When debt sells off, yields rise. Okay. Um, people are seeking safety in the, the perceived strength of the dollar on a relative strength basis, quite obviously. So there is a fear, this fear here, obviously, after the big show, which really didn't impress too many people. Again, hold that thought. Um, and that's actually a problem, which we're going to, again, outline in just a moment here. So um, the, the market doesn't like a lot of things that is that are happening here. And the debt market is sending us a signal. The debt market an old Wall Street adage, the debt market's always right. The debt market knows what's going on here. We've had an in inverted yield curve enough. I don't know how freaking long. That's a big sign that things are not good. You know, hold that thought. Let me show you a piece of news that we got today. You're going to love this. So this is um, Market Watch here. For a record 446 days, the recession indicator has pointed to a downturn that never arrived. See, what they can't allow you to know is not just here in the United States, but the world economy is tanking. Um, as a percentage of GDP, uh, however you want to look at it, the world economy is in free fall and the people are being strangled to death. Now, the reason why they put a headline like this out, okay, to try to convince you that what you're seeing with your own eyes is not real. Well, we got these, this retail sales number today, and I want to cover this. And there's a very, very surprising twist to this. Armando, thank you. No fear. I love that. Never be afraid. Okay. If you, if you have fear, you're done. They, they can control your mind and you're just absolutely finished. Now, anyway, going back to what I was saying, this headline popped up um, after this retail sales number that came out today. Now, this is how it's being portrayed by the mainstream media, but there's a twist. Let's talk about that. So here's the headline. Retail sales come in higher than expected. Now, I write, really? <laughs> Let's talk about that. So uh, you know, as a, the, the economy is resilient. Here we go. As retail sales increased by 0.7% for the month, because this came in way, way higher than expected, the forecast was for it to come in 0.3%. But this is what I'm about to tell you. I guess CNBC didn't get the memo on this one. CNBC broke this down, broke the reality of this down. This is something you almost never see. So I'm going to give a little shout out here to CNBC. So according to a CNBC report, believe it or not, that's what I wrote, believe it or not, it was a rise in gas prices, which helped push the headline retail sales number higher. This is CNBC, not Greg Manorino, okay, with sales up 2.1% on the month at service stations. Multiple categories did report declines in sales for the month, including sporting goods, hobbies, musical instruments, books. Uh, which posted a 1.8% decrease. While clothing, clothes, I guess people are going to walk around naked. Please don't do that. Uh, we're off 1.6% uh, and electronics and appliances saw a drop of 1.2%. That is an amazing piece of information to come out of uh, CNBC, in my opinion. So let's give a little bit of credit where credit's due. Now, regarding consumers spending more, you and I have covered this for years uh, they have no choice, no choice. You think you have a choice? You have to spend more because inflation by their own numbers is outpacing everything they forecast, but it was temporary and transitory. Yes, Greg, I'm sorry, but um, I've liquid here, a lot of liquid down there and it's coming out of my diaper. Uh, but yeah, I, I did say that. But I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You know who this is, right? Uh, anyway, uh, I got to do that as a coping mechanism. You got it? All right. Let us, let us move forward here. Now, let's talk about the big show. Now, people. Um, yes, I have lost it, John. This is in your inbox. 
I want to urge you right now, if you haven't yet, and if you haven't, I have no idea what you're waiting for. This is in your inbox. My free newsletter, I put this stuff out for you. I don't do it for my own health. I obviously know this stuff, okay? So I put it out for you, all of you, even those that are trying to slander me and spread lies about me. I want them to benefit from this as well. Right, Jeffrey? Thank you. Yes, so it was commodities. Commodities, 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 people. Listen to Jeffrey here, okay? Jeffrey knows what he's talking about. All of you know what I'm talking about. I've been telling you about commodities for the longest freaking time. This thing is going to come down, and it's going to come down so bad and so fast. You better be ready for it. So we got every angle covered, you and me, and we've been doing this for forever here. All right, anyway, um, so if you have not yet, please subscribe to my newsletter. It's free. I do not share your information. And you'll get things like this. And again, this is in your inbox. Let's cover this here. So before we start with this, it's part of the same thing, all right? Um, not many people too, were too impressed with the big show. The real-time footage from of fighter jets. Amazing how they had that right bang, right on cue. Real-time footage of fighter jets shooting down missiles. Uh, American-made missiles or copies. Uh, and it's just it's an insanity here. Uh, effectual, ineffectual attack here. One casualty. I mean, come on, people. The, the, the setup here was incredible. This thing was 100% staged, and you and I called it nearly to the day. Nearly to the day. You remember that? Friday, I said it was imminent. Saturday, it happened. Yeah, we nailed that one. But we're going to nail this, too. And the fact that people were not impressed with the big show... That should scare you. That means some, a sequel must come. And the, the, that market here, again, if this was successful, you would have seen the opposite happen of what did happen. Okay, We would have seen cash make its way into the perceived safety of debt. In other words, you would have seen bond yields drop as fear, fear, <laughs> you know, gets into people's psyche. And I got to own that debt that's yielding me nothing. Really? Uh, and so they buy the debt, yields come down. The opposite happened here. So the sequel is a guarantee. We're going to see a sequel. Let's follow this up here. Okay, so uh, how did you like the big show? Let's talk about this. You want to talk about unprecedented? Okay, let's do that. This weekend's event is being broadcast to the world and continues to be uh, via the mainstream media outlets as unprecedented, unprecedented, that word over and over and over. They want you to know it was unprecedented in case you might've forgot, but they're going to remind you. So anyway, uh, same word unprecedented being repeated over and over by each of these mainstream propaganda ministries. Make no mistake. It is certainly no coincidence. And you know this that every single one of these mainstream media outlets is using the exact same wording and the exact same script, trying to spread fear and confusion. Okay, this so-called unprecedented event took place over the skies of Israel, apparently, uh, and it certainly did put on a spectacular light show. Didn't impress too many of you, at least, that filed this blog. And thankfully, only one reported injury occurred because of this attack, a seven-year-old child. Keep that in mind. Arguably, and you're welcome to your opinion on this, Israel's U.S.-funded Iron Dome uh, <laughs> appears to have been a good investment, courtesy of the American people. Yes, yes. From 2011 to 2021, the U.S. contributed a total of $1.6 billion to the Iron Dome defense system, with another $1 billion approved by our loving, caring representatives, also known as uh, Khan Gress in uh, 2022. So whether the Iron Dome was a good investment by the American people, uh, maybe you can fill me in on that one here. All right, here we go. The success, you're going to love this, of, of not just Israel Iron Dome, but also unprecedented and super exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see real-time cockpit footage of drones and missiles being shot down by U.S. fighters that's demonstrated clearly, clearly, okay, to the people who were watching uh, just how important it is to continue funding and upgrading the military arsenals of good and truthful nations like Israel, the United States, and its allies. You get it? Okay. The lead up. The lead up to this, okay. The lead up and execution of this event itself was 
unprecedented. <laughs> okay. Broadcast to the world exactly when this big show was going to occur in the week leading up to this event allowed the world stock markets to price it in. What happened? Relative strength of the dollar, higher, higher, higher. Bond market, not knowing what to do. Very interesting. In the days just prior to the big show, as one would expect, world stock markets fell under pressure as the U.S. dollar strength increased and cash was seeking safety, moving into U.S. debt securities. Oh, oh my. Let us move forward. Moreover, and this is a course, as you know, is standard procedures as they uh, do not allow the markets to overreact. The big show was put on after market hours. Okay. Weekends, as you and I have covered, are their favorite time to carry out these kinds of operations and events. And the reason for that is, again, as to not overly upset the markets. Lovely. If you happen to be a follower of this blog, and I know all of you are, okay, we call this event almost to the day. Not tooting our horns or anything, but yeah, you know what? Let's toot our horns just a little bit. Um, the title of the Friday video, video was Alert, a major false flag is now imminent. The big show occurred the next day, Saturday. So, 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 so. What's next, people? What's next? The sequel. Yeah, the sequel, because people weren't impressed with the first one. The bond market certainly wasn't. The big show proved to the world, this is what really is happening, okay, in case you don't know or you need a reminder. This big show proved to the world that vast increases in military spending is exceedingly necessary. Yes, Craig, it's really important, very important that we continue to spend and pull more cash out of the future so we can bankrupt ourselves even more. And it's going to be beautiful. Got to go to the bathroom. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, now, if you do not support vast increases in military spending, then you, my lovely, beautiful friend, are unpatriotic. Oh, it gets worse than that. Moreover, if you are against massive increases in military spending, then you don't want to protect children. Remember, the only reported injury of the big show was, in fact, a seven-year-old child of Israel. So remember, you must remain patriotic. And you must, you must protect children. So you have to agree to whatever they want to spend because that's, that's what the big show was really all about. Okay. Uh, one of my calls in 2024 was to expect government spending to skyrocket. Yes, I did say that. I didn't say to buy Donald J. Trump media company. Uh, and I'm not putting down President Trump at all. No, no, no. Good guy. Brilliant guy. I told you a million times. I did buy one of his Bibles. I'm waiting for it to be delivered. I, uh, I did buy one of the Bibles. Okay, when I get it, I'll show it off. Oh, anyway, but the public must be sold on this idea of epic, off the Richter scale government spending, and sold they were. In their latest infomercial, because that's what the big show really was, it was an infomercial. Okay, um, where was I? Yeah, in the latest infomercial of the big show, we were sold that we, are you ready for this? Sit down for this one. We were sold that we the people must allow our government or our loving, caring representatives to spend whatever deems necessary to keep us safe. Otherwise, we're not patriots anymore. And they just wrote themselves a great big fat blank check. Yeah. Which, of course, is their goal anyway. Uh... While we are on the subject, my beautiful friends, I love all of you so much. Do you know that I have to I have to pause here for a moment and tell you that? You see what a good mood I'm in? I started this video off being freaking miserable. That didn't work at all. You know, with this freaking it's slander, okay, when people do this stuff. It's it's freaking outright propaganda and slander. And I'm tr I'm trying to be a good guy here, honestly. You don't have to agree with everything I'm saying, but I'm trying to make a positive difference here. And, and I know you are as well. So anyway, while we are on the subject, being that no nation on this lovely earth has a war chest, tell Greg Manorino just one more time where it is that this cash is, this critically needed cash is going to come from to arm ourselves so we can protect ourselves and our children from evil nations. They're very bad. We have to kill them all. We have to kill them all. Uh, oh, yes, it's going to come directly from central banks who are going to just create it out of nothing, add digits to a beautiful digital screen. It's beautiful. Could you imagine what their computers, right, Mitch? Mitch knows what I'm talking about. Specifically, the Federal Reserve 
for the United States. And the Fed is always happy to lend. We can always count on the Federal Reserve because, you see, the Federal Reserve has our best interest. Ask Janet. Yes, Greg, I can tell you because I was a, a Fed chairperson that, um, yeah, we really do care about you. I don't think so. Uh, anyway, um, people, that's kind of where we stand here. Oh, man, I'm getting a headache. Uh, did we cover it all here? Have we covered it all? Now I want to hear from you. This is where you get to sound off. Greg, you know what, Greg? You're on target, man. You're getting it. Or oh, Greg, you know what? <laughs> you need to up your medication a little bit, which is probably true. Uh, anyway, people, look, um, we got this here. <laughs> what, what can they do? We got it. We got this covered from every angle. You know that. We know what they want. We know what they're trying to do. The big show didn't work. That worries me. That, you know, when I started to see the feedback from people, how unimpressed they were, and, and clearly, you know, it was staged. Uh, every step of this thing has been staged. Uh, right, Mitch? Mitch knows again. Um, you know, we could just... Look, I've told all of you for how long, I don't know. You can expect them to do things to us. You can't even believe or imagine have or have a nightmare or a wet dream about, okay? Th this is where it's going. Uh, this, this entire, nothing, uh, I'm going to tell you straight out again, nothing is what it, it seems to be. Nothing at all here. When you got the propaganda ministry, they got the people by the throats here. D divide and conquer. Hatred, you know, spread this as far and wide as they possibly can. Imagine for a moment if we came together, like I said, I believe in my heart of hearts, and you've heard me say this many times, you've been with me. If one person, and we've seen this throughout history, if one person has the ability to change the world, imagine what we, all of us, can do together. Imagine that. And this channel, we're getting somewhere, all right? We got about, what, a quarter of a million? quarter of a million people here? I wish we had 10 times that. We could really make a difference. But automotive professionals, thank you. Yeah, we know it all. We know what they want from us. I mean, can you imagine? You and I have been so far ahead of the curve on this. It's unbelievable. Not because we're smarter than anybody else. It's because we know who our enemy is. We know what they want. And I think we've outlined this, and we've seen it in action. Anyway, people, look, um, I'm going to get going over here. Uh. I'm going to be on, again, uh, in a half an hour live with uh, Corey Costa. We're going to talk about is the world on the brink. Um, I sent that out, a link to that in my newsletter, for which I know all of you are now subscribed to. So you'll, you'll go check me out. Hopefully you'll be there with me. And uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm sure we're going to take some questions, too. Speaking of that, before this gets ridiculously long, you guys and girls want to talk about anything uh, specifically, honestly. I, I, it's, uh, I, 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 there's almost nothing because I, hopefully I really do cover what's important here with you. I tried to do that. I really, really do. Uh, and again, we're all on the same page. Look, I want to thank all of you again for being here. I want to thank all of you for your friendship, for your love. And, and I did rearrange my office people. You don't even know what a disaster this is. I, I do apologize for a few things that have been moved around here, but I had no room. This part behind you <laughs> looked like a bomb went off. So I kind of fixed it up. It's pretty. Um, anyway, with that said, people, look, I'm going to let you go. And um, I will see you, hopefully, uh, in half an hour on uh, Corey's show. It's going to be interesting. And, uh, of course, I'll see if you can't make that, I'll see you in the morning, um, as, I, as I always do. Now, until we, we and even her, are together again, people, take care of yourselves <laughs> and take care of each other. All right? Love you a lot.